Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this problem related to complex numbers. If Z1, Z2 are two non-zero complex numbers satisfying mod of Z1 plus Z2 equal to mod of Z1 plus mod of Z2 then show that argument of Z1 is equal to argument of Z2 or argument of Z1 minus argument of Z2 equal to 0. So we have been given that Z1, Z2 are two non-zero complex numbers satisfying the condition that modulus of Z1 plus Z2 equal to modulus of Z1 plus modulus of Z2. To solve this problem, we can do this in more than one method. We'll do with fundamentals. So we'll take Z1 equal to X1 plus IY1 and we will take Z2 equal to X2 plus IY2. Also let us understand what is the meaning of argument of Z1 minus argument of Z2 equal to 0. So let's go ahead and first put down Z1 and Z2. Z1 is equal to X1 plus I into Y1 Z2 equal to X2 plus I into Y2 Now let's write down we have been given mod of Z1 plus Z2 equal to mod of Z1 plus modulus of Z2 now let's substitute the values we have taken Z1 is X1 plus IY1 plus Z2 is X2 plus IY2 is equal to modulus of X1 plus IY1 plus modulus of X2 plus I Y2. Now we know that if Z equal to X plus I Y is a non-zero complex number X plus I Y is a non-complex number then modulus of Z equal to square root of x square plus y square not only that we know that argument of z is equal to theta which is equal to tan inverse of y by x that we need to understand because we have to prove argument of z1 minus argument of z2 equal to 0 or can we say tan inverse of y1 by x1 equal to tan inverse of y2 by x2 if you take out tan inverse it's y1 by x1 equal to y2 by x2 so from this condition we have to derive that y1 by x1 equal to y2 by x2 if you are able to show that then we can prove that argument of z1 equal to argument of z2 so let's come back here since we said mod of z is square root of x square plus y square so this will become square root of can we now separate the real parts and imaginary parts we'll write down one more for that step okay let's write down one step more can i write down x1 plus x2 plus i into y1 plus y2 modulus of that is equal to same thing here nothing to change x1 plus i y1 plus x2 plus i into y2 now this modulus of the left hand side equal to square root of x square plus y square that is x1 plus x2 whole square plus y1 plus y2 whole square equal to square root of x1 square plus y1 square that's what we get by formula plus square root of x2 square plus y2 square now after this we have to square it on both sides simplify and at the end we have to get that y2 by x2 equal to y1 by x1 let's move to the next step 
Now let's square it on both sides. When we square it on both sides on the left hand side, square root will go away. So can I write down SOBS squaring on both sides? We will have x1 plus x2 whole square plus y1 plus y2 whole square is equal to on the right hand side we have square root of x1 square plus y1 square plus square root of x2 square plus y2 square whole square or can I write down squaring this is what we did now this will be in the form of this will be in the form of a plus b whole square formula so we have to write down a square plus b square plus 2ab so let's go ahead and write down that we will have a square that is x1 square plus y1 square plus b square that is x2 square plus y2 square plus 2ab term that is 2 root of x1 square plus y1 square multiply with x2 square plus y2 square. Now on the left hand side when we apply the formula we will have x1 square plus x2 square plus 2x1 x2 plus 2y1 y2 plus y1 square plus y2 square is equal to on the right hand side we have x1 square plus x2 square plus y1 square plus y2 square plus 2 into square root of x1 square plus y1 square into x2 square plus y2 square plus 2 into square root of x1 square plus y1 square multiply that with x2 square plus y2 square let's go to the next step before that let us see what we can cancel here x1 square x2 square y1 square y2 square we can cancel so left out is we have 2 x1 x2 plus 2 y1 y2 equal to 2 into square root of this so let's go to the next step next step we will have we can take two common on left hand side 2 into x1 x2 plus y1 y2 equal to 2 into square root of x1 square plus y1 square and multiply that with x2 square plus y2 square now we can cancel out 2 on both sides 2 and 2 we can cancel it. Now let's go ahead and square it on both sides. Sobs we will do. What we will have? a plus b whole square here. So x1 square x2 square plus y1 square y2 square plus 2x1 x2 y1 y2 is equal to. When we square it on right hand side square root will go away. So we can multiply them now x1 square plus x1 square x2 square plus x1 square y2 square plus x2 square y1 square plus y1 square y2 square. Let's cancel them now. What we can cancel? We can cancel we can cancel x1 square x2 square then we can cancel y1 square y2 square on both sides so we are left out with 2x1 x2 y1 y2 equal to x1 square y2 square plus x2 square y1 square let's move to the next step so in the next step we will have 2x1 x2 y1 y2 equal to x1 square y2 square plus x2 square y1 square we will try to simplify that bringing everything to one side we will have x1 square y2 square plus 
x2 square y1 square minus 2x1 x2 y1 y2 equal to 0. Now this is in the form of a square plus b square minus 2ab. So can I write down x1 y2 minus x2 y1 whole square equal to 0 or can we say that x1 y2 equal to x2 y1 rearranging that we can get y2 by x2 is equal to y1 by x1 that means now we apply tan inverse on both sides we will have tan inverse of y2 by x2 is equal to tan inverse of y1 by x1 which is nothing but equal to argument of z1 z2 equal to argument of z1 or what we need that argument of z1 minus argument of z2 equal to 0. So argument of z is theta is given by tan inverse of y by x. Since we are able to prove that y2 by x2 equal to y1 by x1, we can easily prove tan inverse of y2 by x2 is tan inverse of y1 by x1 which gives us argument of z2 equal to argument of z1. So let's recap how we did this problem. We can do this problem in more than one method. We just followed the fundamentals. z1 is x1 plus i y1. z2 is x2 plus i y2. We separate, we found out the real part and the imaginary part. Then we applied the formula. Modulus of any complex number z is given by square root of x square plus y square. If z equal to x plus i y, we applied that. We simplified little bit of algebra we are able to get y2 by x2 equal to y1 by x1 which gives us that argument of z1 minus argument of z2 equal to 0.